Speaking of being an international diplomat, let's violate some international diplomatic treaties by declaring on <laughs> All right. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the releasable challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 that doesn't exist in 1444. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, after spinning the wheel a couple of weeks ago, actually, we're back as the nation of Mallorca. Mallorca is a nation that can be released from these three provinces right here, Ibiza, Mallorca, and Menorca, and of course we pop out of the nation of Aragon. Breaking free from Aragon might be pretty difficult, honestly, because of our starting situation right here in these islands, but these guys usually have a sufficient number of allies that we can probably get to support our independence of course expansion after that is going to be pretty tough as well once again due to the island position and due to all the other nations that are going to want to gobble up aragon and expansion opportunities might be pretty limited and we might need to push into north africa as well so this is not going to be a very easy game at all we're going to try and become a great power we're going to try and make aragon not exist all while building the grandest armada the world has ever seen just like you can build the grandest armada the world has ever seen, thanks to the sponsor of today's video, World of Warships. World of Warships is a free-to-play game where you can command a massive naval fleet featuring some of history's most iconic vessels. One of the best parts about World of Warships is that there's new content every month. Whether it's ships, nations, or cosmetics, there's always something new to enjoy in the stunning 12 vs 12 arenas. And this month, 10 new ships from Central and South America are being added. Oh, and how could I forget about the amazing graphics? With more than 4 unique maps that feature dynamic weather that have all been updated with stunning new water effects and textures, you'll struggle to distinguish the game's seas from the real deal. In World of Warships, you also have multiple ship classes to choose from, so why not conquer the oceans with the world's most iconic battleships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, cruisers, or submarines? Oh, and did I mention the game is also available on consoles? So, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to download World of Warships and use code BRAVO to receive a huge starter pack including a bunch of doubloons, credits, premium account time, and a ship. Thank you to World of Warships for sponsoring today's video, now let's jump in as Mallorca. All right, all right, here we are as Aragon, you know the drill, right click on ourselves, create a subject, there's Mallorca, play as the release subject, boom, and there we are, we got a pretty nice map color as well. Let's take a look at Mallorca ideas, because I actually don't know them, man, we have Catalan ideas, plus one merchant and minus 15% light ship cost, minus 20% morale hit when losing a ship, then we got yearly navy tradition, advisor discounts, national unrest, fort maintenance, manpower recovery speed, morale, and production efficiency, so a pretty nice naval slash army idea setup right here as well. No unique missions, unfortunate. So, uh, yeah, let's wait for a month to tick by and see how we can break free from Aragon. We don't have boats, we don't have troops, we don't have nothing. All right, there we go. Now that a month has ticked over, we are going to become an autocracy right here. Let's see, army force limit is four, naval force limit is seven. I will want to get those galleys and the transports up immediately, but first, of course, we got to go ahead and summon the diet. Let's go ahead and get that whatever there. Let's go religious state and let's go religious diplomats and let's give the nobles primacy and increased. Let's give the burgers land of commerce, patronage and indebted to the burgers. And then let's sell and seize. Do we have any professionals? We actually do, so I'm going to slack in once right there. There's some troops and uh yeah let's build up the army first and uh then we'll get to building boats too aragon's rivals are the ottomans and burgundy i don't know if the ottomans will be able to support us actually they might what about burgundy they can't reach them yeah we'll try and get some people to support us right here the most uh, likely candidates are um england the ottomans right actually man we we probably can get the ottomans Hmm, that will that will be very easy. I was hoping for France and Castile since they're close by, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's actually see our starting ruler right here. 514. Not that good, honestly, but 5 and 4 is pretty good. I guess this guy hasn't talked to a person in his life. Meanwhile, Aragon. Ooh, they've rolled with France. I think I might be able to get these guys too. What I actually I was trying to say is they haven't gotten any strong allies themselves. It's only Albania and Navarra, and they're about to let go of Naples pretty soon too, I think. So, uh, independence is looking good so far, boys. Another good thing here is that, uh, neither England nor the Ottomans realistically want any Aragon provinces, right? So in this first war, the independence were obviously, if I get those two guys to support me, uh, even if I don't give them anything, they won't be mad and I'll still stay allied to them. Whereas if I got, like, Castile or France, they would want Aragon's provinces and they would get mad if I didn't give them anything. And there we go, Naples has been let go by Aragon. Nice. A lucky situation for me right here, uh... Uh, I saw the surrender of main event and uh, the option was uh, let's choose to back down so England has kept main and the war didn't happen war of the roses in England that's unfortunate and there we go I've reached improve with the Ottomans 70 70 the minus 1000 is because they're at war of course and as soon as this war is over I'll just scornfully insult Aragon and uh, I'll be able to get them to support me because that opinion will change very easy uh let's see about England though hmm uh, the same thing might work with England too. Let's see. The War of the Roses ended for England pretty quickly. 
that's good. And there's the scornful. Wait, what? When did these guys uh, rival each other? That definitely wasn't the case. Should we even get Castile though? Because they'll be mad. They'll want land, right? Yeah. As soon as the Ottomans end this with Biz, we can get it. In a first, maybe a first in releasables, Castile has offered to support independence without me actually asking them. I did just get England. Uh, I'm still waiting for the Ottomans to wrap it with Biz here in Herzegovina, apparently, which should be really soon. I don't know if I should accept this, man. We can do it with just England and the Ottomans. Would Castile be a good ally? I kind of actually want to fight them uh, after we beat up Aragon. You know what? I, I mean, I'll get them. I won't give them anything. And then they'll auto break the alliance. So yeah. It's not gonna hurt. And there's the support from the Ottomans as well. This is one of the strongest uh, support networks we've ever had in releasables. But yeah, there we go. I got a claim on Barcelona at least. And uh, I think we can go ahead and declare on these guys independence, defend capital. Uh, actually, wait, let me first set provinces as provinces of interest, which will be all of Aragon's provinces, including Navarra, these right here, and... Uh, Let's go for Sicily as well, right? Yeah, there we go. Now most of this should be transferred over to me. Let's go ahead and declare independence on Aragon. And, uh, well, we don't have a Grand Armada just yet, but uh, we'll get there. First, we got to rely on the Ottomans, England, and Castile a bit. Now, of course, right here, I'm not in a position to do anything. My fleet would get crushed by Aragon's fleet. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty much good, just going to be chilling until their boats get wiped out. Then I might do some sieging, but um, there we go. Trustworthy allies as well. Ah, I'll wait for events. All right, so Castile has achieved naval superiority in the Gulf of Valencia. Oh, I don't have transports. I'm so stupid. Let's get even more loans and uh, let's try and build some transports so we can get off these islands. And I know there are so many nations you can release from Aragon and reconquer their cores. We got Catalonia, Valencia, Sardinia, Sicily, but uh, I've decided for this campaign I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to take these provinces myself. All right, England's also here. They're sieging. That's a good thing because they're transferring occupation of everything to me, whereas Castile might not necessarily do that, even though all of these are provinces of interest. Hmm, unfortunately, Aragon has also been declared on by Naples in the Neapolitan reconquest of uh, these provinces down here, so it looks like I'm not going to be moving in here just yet. Luckily, Naples doesn't have strong allies. We might be able to fight them too. I am going to go for uh, Sardinia though. Yeah, let's try and get here. Well, that didn't work out because I got stack wiped when landing. All right, Ottomans, do your thing. And there we go. The war is done. Uh, we've occupied everything we can. Uh, you know, Naples got some provinces as well. No big deal. But let's go ahead and demand independence right there. Excellent. And who will be mad? Yeah, as expected, uh, only Castile would be mad if I take land. So what I actually want to do right here is get these islands or the island of Sardinia. I would have expanded to Sicily, but I can't thanks to Naples. And uh, what can we do up here? We can't take the entire state of Catalonia. What are good provinces? I definitely want to go for Barcelona. So uh, yeah, let's do something like like this for now 50 AE not that bad honestly not that bad uh yeah let's get war reps and let's get money too and that's our first war done all right we're looking pretty big man uh like this i may be able to join the hre let's see oh yeah i need just good relations with austria let's try and improve with them and maybe join so we can fight some of these guys is austria allied to any of them no so all of them will leave which is actually a good thing all right let's be patient a bit uh let's go ahead and spy on naples and improve with austria but good start so far. Of course, Castile wants to break their alliance with me. This is expected. I literally couldn't care less. In fact, I might even rival them. In fact, let's rival Genoa. Uh, let's do uh, Clemson and Granada. Sure. What about these guys? Is anyone down here easy to fight? Tunis. Tunis could be easy. Either way, now that that's all done and we're looking who to declare on next, we can summon the Diet once again and give the clergy advisory council, give the nobles aristocratic, and give the burghers commercial and new burger loans so I can pay off the old loans. Looks like we won't be able to get enough relations with Austria. We'll only get them to about 100 and we need 136 to get into the HRE. They're not allied to any of these guys, so there's no point in doing that. I'm just going to spy on Tunis. While they have no allies. Hmm. All right, almost done coring stuff. I need more boats here to defeat Tunis. There we go. There's more galleys. That's like six galleys, and I already got um four. Hmm. I need more, actually. All right, there's 15 galleys right there, and I need some more transports as well. I need to speed up the spawning of the Renaissance somewhere. Let's push Barcelona up to... um up to 30 there we go it is the cheapest province this is coastline kind of expensive okay so next plan of expansion has got to be tunis man they're allyless right now and they're fighting uh togurt and clemson and even though this is an easy war for them at least they'll be drained left without manpower and um you know troops and stuff like that so as soon as they wrap this up i think i'm gonna declare on them man hopefully they won't ally anyone improving with the mamluks kind of weird honestly okay so tunis has ended that war but they're still looking kind of strongish to me and they've allied toffee lot right here man which is of course another annoying fort to take down now we got a level three fort here uh the capital fort then the one right here the one in kef and dara they're both super annoying i don't know if i can do this man 
We're about the same on manpower and stuff like that, but of course, Muslim units are stronger than mine at this point. I really don't know, man. What about Naples? Both of these guys would help versus Naples, but what's AE looking like right there? Honestly, it's not too bad, man. Not too bad. I could go for Naples and Palermo. You know what? I'm just gonna do that, dude. I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna declare Naples right here. At least I'll have the help of the Ottomans and uh, England. And by the time the war ends, uh, you know, A will have gone down. So let's declare for Naples. Should be easy enough. Let's move these guys out. Let's get an admiral for our Grand Navy right here as well. Maybe we can tell these guys to go to Trapani. And yeah, these naval invasions haven't been going exactly a plan, man. My war army got wiped once again trying to land in Trapani. So now I'm in Naples with the Ottomans in England. Tier 2 cover form after some delay. I got those events where I lose cover form progress. But of course, we're going to go with uh, drink the Noble Privileges. Another unfortunate thing, uh, Castile is uh, allied to Aragon now after they previously guaranteed them. So I will have to fight both of these guys. Would the Ottomans help again? Distant war. They probably wouldn't actually. What about England? England probably would. I wonder if I can link with France too. Their arrival to England. But I'd rather have France than England, so... Actually, I got some free diplomats. I'm gonna tell this guy right here to establish communities, and I need one in Genoa as well, establish communities. Let's send the other one in um, Venice and tell him to establish communities as well. Previously, that guy was improving with the Ottomans by establishing communities there. But maybe I should have taken the opportunity with Tunis, man. Now they're like to Granada and Morocco, which of course aren't strong, but uh, annoying for sure. Either way, war with Naples is done, man. And what can we do here? Of course, I do want their capital. Can we do something like this? Let's see right there. That is looking kind of dangerous. What about Naples and Palermo? Uh, we'll be good here. Yeah, we'll be good right here. Let's go ahead and take war reps and all of their money as well. Slow expansion, I know, but these are high dev provinces that I'm taking. And now I can embrace the Renaissance as well. Maybe even sell it to the Ottomans. Would you look at that? All right, but weird expansion, I know. Sort of islands and, uh, you know, stuff like that, but... uh. Yeah, it is what it is. Let's uh, pack up and uh, pack up and then core. All right, there's our first idea group. Now, obviously, boys, what do we need to expand in the region of the Mediterranean? Starting off on an island ourselves, three islands, in fact, on another one right here, another one right here, this here too. So many disconnected provinces and stuff like that. That's right, everyone. We have to open up with either naval or maritime. And I'm going to go with maritime first for the naval force limit. So, uh, yeah, man, let's build that armada, huh? Speaking of building, I need to rebuild my uh, army as well because it did get blown up. Let's see. No indebted to the burgers. But that regular loan right there should do. And, uh, you know, let's build up a little bit over here, huh? 10 should be enough for now, I think. Aw, oh, these guys are going to come siege me. Whatever, I can't. <laughs> I gotta keep the Ottomans. They'll win, of course. I'll just be annoyed by the fact. <laughs> Let's move out of here, huh? We gotta go help the Ottomans in the Gulf of uh, Toronto. Yeah, there we go, man. Ha! Ah, our naval power is unmatched, even by the likes of Venice. Oh, man, I wish I could get a CB on Plemsen somehow. We could uh, we could fight them very easily. They're so weak. But yeah, A looking kind of annoying with these guys. We gotta fight Tunis next. How many times am I gonna get stack wiped this campaign? Why would they come here? Go siege the Ottomans. They're right here. Why? Great. Now I'm gonna get war exhaustion. Come on, Ottomans, man. Hurry up. Great. Now my fleet's getting beat up too. A siege phase lasts 11 days over in Spalato, man. What? What are? What is these guys' siege ability? No way they got the guns of Urban already. Look at this. Look. Look. You see that? Look at this. Look. By the way, they don't have cannons yet. Nope. And just a one siege guy, by the way. Look at this, man. A 16-day siege phase over in Treviso Hills, by the way. All right, the war is done. Oh, now Austria wants me to ally them. Well, no, I don't need you anymore, so yeah. Okay, Aragon are no longer allied to Castile. Did they turn hostile? Not really, but uh, yeah, I can't do this on my own. I need at least one of these guys. I have allied Portugal, though. Okay, so my truce with Aragon has expired, and I have created enough favors with Portugal for them to come in, and that's right. With Portugal and myself, we can easily take them down, and uh, let's try and go for these provinces and the state of Valencia, along with Ruzilan up here. So yeah, I'm gonna declare for uh, Valencia and call in Portugal. This war should be pretty easy. Completely wiped out Aragon's fleet. Okay, just peace out Ferrara, and the war with Aragon is done. Let's see if we can do this without getting a coalition, and uh, yes, we're good. So uh, yeah, I'm also gonna humiliate them, actually, and get war apps. They're kind of poor. I'm just gonna take their money, in fact. And uh, there we go. Let's decrease that. And it's over 100 because they've unconditionally surrendered, by the way. That's the only way it can go 100. And uh, that war is done. All right, we're looking pretty big. And now I can spy on Clemson as well. It should be easy to knock these guys out. I'm already spying on Naples as well for some other provinces. So we're uh, we're good here. We just gotta be careful with AE up here, man. Uh, I don't think I'll fight anyone else until we can fight Aragon again. We'll see, though. 
yeah, time to expand down here. Meanwhile, our game is progressing quite nicely. Dev is looking good. Aragon's almost wiped out. No complaints, man. We just got to keep going with Maritime and then get the Naval too. Not again. Ugh. All right, let me just strongly want Corsica then. Oh, it's already been occupied by the... Oh, they transferred it to me after I set it as a province of interest. Hmm, yeah, let's go with this. And actually, I am going to start my golden era. No. How much money do I need to buy indulgence? I've been excommunicated. 118. New burger loans aren't possible, but our regular loans are pretty big. Yeah, I gotta get rid of that. Why does the Pope hate me, dude? Interesting. So Castile has declared on Morocco. Actually, Portugal has declared on Morocco. Funny, they didn't call me in. And this is the war. Now, if I want to declare on Tunis, they're still looking kind of strongish, man. But I think we can definitely go for Clemson here. Even though we got Seuss and uh, Fezzan as well. From being excommunicated to allying the Pope. All in a day's work for... Uh international diplomat such as myself speaking of being an international diplomat let's violate some international diplomatic treaties by declaring on <laughs> all right oh no portugal just yeah it is portugal <laughs> whatever now if i release algier from or senis right here i could ask for dara back from portugal now since i'm being seized by rebels i think i am gonna call it right here what i'm gonna do is uh take these provinces right here let me go ahead and see this yeah yeah, let's do something like this, and uh, let's get all of their money, too. Nice. Now, in order to get Dara, I need to release uh, Algier. Not play as them, almost. And, uh, yeah, I can just ask Portugal to give this back to them. I already have 23 favors with Portugal. Let's see how much it'll cost. And we need 24. Well, that, that shouldn't take long at all. Probably like a month or two. Let's, uh, where's Curry? There it is. Finally, naval doctrine. Obviously, we can take Ordinances of the Sea, which is a unique Iberian uh, naval doctrine, I guess. But global naval engagement plus 15% isn't going to help out that much in the Mediterranean. For our Grand Armada right here, we do need to go with free oarsmen for galley combat ability. And Portugal broke the alliance with me. Why? 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 Why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? You are assholes. But I got 24 favors with them? Yeah, I need 50 opinion. This isn't going to work. Actually, I'm going to trade company this stuff in Safi. Yeah. All right, we're a mill points cap, but luckily we can also take admin deck seven, which enables us to take our second idea group, which of course is going to be naval ideas. There we go. We're almost done with maritime. We got the naval force limit. We just need the leaders and admirals and blockade and privateers, but we can now take naval leader shock. We can go ahead and take even more galley combat ability, and we can take the naval leader fire plus one and morale hit when losing a ship minus 33%. Excellent. Dude, I'm going to have the best Navy by the time I'm done. Your three cover form time. I'm going to go with, uh, let's see right here, expand real court. Oh, not good, man. Aragon is royal married France. They might be able to get an alliance going, which would make it impossible to fight these guys without the help of England and the Ottomans. And even then, it's going to be so difficult. Oh, they got Burgundy too. No. But yeah, while we're here, let's go ahead and declare on Tunis because we do have some reconquering to do for Algiers' this course. Yes, we can do this ourselves. Should be easy enough. And there's Maritime wrapped up just as I call in the Pope to help who's having his capital siege down. All right, this war with Tunis was kind of annoying-ish, but now it's done. What I'm going to do is that. And can we take their entire capital state of Tunis? Uh, Yeah, we're good. All right, <laughs> that's that war done. Let me uh, trade company this too. Meanwhile, Kabia have expanded themselves and they don't have any allies, so... <laughs> you know what time it is. <laughs> it's time to fight them, too. I mean, this is basically free dev, right? Why not take all of it? <laughs> there we go. Uh, more trade companies. Yep. Let's go back home and fight the rebels. And is the truce with Aragon up? <laughs> Almost. Yeah, I just forgot to spy on Aragon. So as soon as I get a claim on them, we'll fight them. Their province war score cost is 57 right now, which means we can annex them. And A with the European nations is pretty low. So uh, yeah, I don't think it'll be a problem at all. All right, time to finish our second goal. Our dev is looking pretty good, man. I think uh, once we beat up Aragon, fight Naples and Tunis again. Yeah, those three nations, we should be on the Great Powers list, man. Meanwhile, naval force limit is 61. Uh, let's build an even grander armada. There we go, 20 transports. Let's get some more heavies in. Uh, new burger loans, I can take them for sure. Yeah, there we go. So let's get um, five heavies in there and even more galleys. Yeah, after this, I might build a flagship too. Ugh, galley combat plus 40. Heavy combat plus 20. I just got three free heavies in this. Yeah, I guess that's an event where you have maritime or naval. But, all right, good. Uh, Navy has been built up. Army has been built up a bit as well. Let's go ahead and declare on Aragon. Uh, Ferrara, they're allied to Ferrara. Let's call in the Pope to help out with that. They're the only ones that would come in. And let's declare for the capital, Zaragoza. This should be fairly easy. 
they don't have any troops at all all right you know what's happening with the pope man this has been going on for years right i'm forgetting about all the papal stuff and since we're not gonna be conquering this core from portugal might as well improve with algier and annex them and that's naval wrapped up as well morale of navies global naval engagement oh feels so good and naval barrage cost minus 100 so uh look at this boys look at this as soon as i arrive in ferrara that's right we can bomb for free Naval ideas are actually so good. Seriously, why do I always keep forgetting you can bomb for free with naval, man? You know, people used to meme on these two idea sets, but now I think they're good. And espionage will be good once uh, domination drops too. By the way, I do take slight credit for the ability to claim entire states that's coming with espionage in the next update. I did suggest that to uh, the boy Big Boss. I'm sure other people have suggested it, but listen, if it goes horribly wrong, I'm not to blame. But if it works excellent, then I should take the credit. Unless privateers. But I'm not embargoing or privateering. Yeah, don't need that. All right, but now that Ferrara is out, we can go ahead and full annex Aragon, make them not exist. You know what? I don't even want Navarra. In fact, I'll make them release Navarra. There we go. That's how generous I am. Actually, I'm not that generous. That's uh, seven dev province and... <laughs> That's what the difference might come down to. So there we go. Second goal accomplished. Our former overlord doesn't exist just as we can become a kingdom. Uh, 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 uh. Excellent. And I actually no one even really cared about that. Let's wait for like a year and then declare on Naples. Meanwhile, colonialism has not yet spawned, so we're good. But yeah, now that a little bit of time has passed, we can declare on Naples. They've gotten two allies since I last checked this screen, but no big deal. Because I can call in my trusty sidekicks, the Ottomans and the Pope, of course. Let's declare for uh, Avellino. Sure. There we go. Not bad. There's colonialism. And of course, let us naval bombard for free with the help of our superior naval ideas. And do I have the biggest fleet in the world? <laughs> I think I do. Let's see, navies, uh, total. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do have the biggest navy in the world. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give Ragusa to the Ottomans just like I, just because I don't like seeing them exist. <laughs> I keep fighting these guys without realizing I don't have manpower. So just go ahead and peace out, man. I'm going to take this right here along with Molise. And let's see, can I take all of Sicily along with Malta? Sure, I can. Nice. And just like that, we have become a great power, ladies and gentlemen. But of course, we do need colonialism embraced and someone with colonialism below us. For this challenge to be a success and of course let's see where did colonialism actually spawn in coimbra which is portugal then castile will get it because they're colonizing i'll force spawn it so yeah uh pretty much as soon as we get colonialism we're good here i am down on points but the cheapest province to dev in is mallorca actually our capital so uh or cataluid where is that where is cataluid oh it's right there but uh why would it it's dryland's valencia should be pretty cheap but it's already pretty highly dev or it's not Hmm, level... If I bump it up to a level 2 center of trade, which I think I can, and activate Encourage Dev, uh, that should become the cheapest one. Let's go Siege it back. And yeah, with uh, Expanded Infrastructure, with a level 2 center of trade, and with Encourage Dev, it is the cheapest one. So that's nice. At this point, I'm also gonna annex uh, Algier. There we go. Algiers has been annexed, which is excellent. Let's turn those provinces into uh, trade companies as well, because we don't want to suffer from the religious uh, disunity penalties, of course. And we've also almost got colonialism. And now we actually have colonialism. How much money do we need to embrace it? 684? Well, that should be uh, pretty cheap right there. Well, would you look at that? I'm the number three great power in the world. And Castile is a number five great power with colonialism embraced below me. But yeah, there you go, man. Start off as the nation of Mallorca in these three islands right here, obviously in the Balearic Islands, and after we broke free from Aragon in a very easy way with the help of the Ottomans and England, which I've kept the entirety of the campaign, we had a super fun and super straightforward game by wiping out Aragon, taking some more provinces from them over here, fighting Naples twice to take this and this from them, and even expanding over in the Maghreb by fighting Plumson and Tunis, and uh, unfortunately not getting all of Algiers' scores back. Super, super fun campaign and not too much pain. In fact, almost no pain at all, which I'm super, super happy as always. You guys know uh, we experience a lot of pain, but uh, it's nice to get a smooth campaign every once in a while. Took Maritime and Naval, honestly, a super, super fun combo to meme around with sometimes. But with a nation such as this, man, where you're focusing a lot on naval gameplay, transporting troops, fighting lots of nations in the Mediterranean, and uh, naval bombarding for free, I can honestly say that these idea groups aren't meme idea groups, man, at all. And, uh, you know, if you're playing a game where you will need 
the support of these ideas, definitely go for them. Obviously, other Diplo and Mill ideas are better, but uh, if, but if this is something like your game is gonna go, then uh, I definitely do recommend them. Overall, never too rich, never too powerful. Sure, we were making money at some points. I built not a lot of buildings, honestly, could have built more, and uh, I'm not that satisfied with my army, but I can't say that I'm not satisfied with my navy. In fact, I am very, very satisfied with my navy. But wiped out Aragon Man, accomplished our second goal of making our former overlord not exist, core is grayed out, and accomplished our primary goal of becoming a great power with colonialism embraced and with someone with colonialism below us. Honestly, a super, super fun campaign. And uh, after this, I can't wait to be back in the Mediterranean once again. But ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Mallorca in releasables has been a success. And that has been Mallorca in releasables. Now let's spin the wheel once again, because uh, I'm still not sure if I can get, uh, where are they, Hatiala started. So if I can't, let's see who we're going to play next time. And here we are in the wheel of releasable nations. Let's click the spin and see which nation we're going to play next time. If I still can't get Patiala started. Listen, you know, I like Europe and stuff like that, but uh, I'm down for an Africa campaign or something like that. Koso Kabe. I think we're going back to Japan. Pain. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what I should do with Choso Kabe next time or Patiala. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash redhawklive. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.